This is a short ident video to help you identify Chamaecoparus lawsoniana. A monoecious species, the male flowers are distinctive in being bright red, emerging in March to April. And here is a close-up of a fully opened male pollen cone where you can see the small clusters of pollen releasing cells and the persistent black scales. These are often born in large numbers on the spray. And here's a close-up of the female flower, which is actually a precursor to the rather rounded cone that get, develops. Notice the slightly darkening and widening to the end of the shoot, but they are very small and very discreet, often overlooked. The female flowers then develop into small globular clones, only with slightly small prickles associated to them. Um, P-shaped and sized, and a uh, blue gunmetal sort of colour when they're young, developing to an opening to a light brown colour, persisting on the tree for about a year and a half, often in very large numbers, near to the ends of sprays. The overall sort of shaggy appearance of the Lawson cypress is distinctive. It can actually reach heights well in excess of 25 metres often becoming rather sparse lower down when it does this. Here's a semi-mature specimen and you can see that it's used for screening and for shelter belts um, because of this rather fine and thick shaggy foliage. Uh, makes it very suitable for it. The bark is typically marked with lots of linear fissures, red-brown, slightly felty and very soft. I have to say when you handle the timber or burn the timber a really wonderful um, smell comes from it. Very, very sort of perfumed. Here the spray, relatively soft to handle, uh, two-dimensional, so it lies flat on the table. Um, and with relatively rounded scales, we'll see a close-up of those ne later. And typically, well, there's a lot of cultivars of Lawson Cypress, but typically a mid-grey-green slightly drab in colour when close up. Here we can see the spray in a bit of closer detail on the one centimetre by one centimetre grid and you can see the 2D effect and this relatively even uh, spread of these scale needle lateral branches. And here we see the close up of the very rounded mid green scales relatively smooth to the touch. Crushed between thumb and finger they grew quite a strong some say fruity, but I'd say more like a, a, a pine cleaner uh, smell. There's something definitely sort of turpentine about the smell of it. Um, and if you look closely at the scales, you'll see elliptic, translucent spots at the centre of each mid-scale. This means if you hold it up to a bright part of the sky or towards a light, um, you will actually be able to see um, these spots in the middle of the uh, scales, actually allowing light through. And this is a really good identifying feature of Chamaecoparis as it's pretty much the only scaled conifer that allows you to see through the middle of the scales with these translucent spots. Oh, well, an ident feature that's really worth knowing. 